Earlier today, I chaired meetings of the Cabinet and COBRA to consider the advice from SAGE on the impact of the existing social distancing measures. There are indications that the measures have been put in, that we put in place have been successful in slowing down the spread of this virus. But SAGE also say that it is a mixed and inconsistent picture and in some settings, infections are still likely to be increasing. SAGE assessed that the rate of infection, or the so-called R value, is almost certainly below one in the community. And that means that on average, each person that's infected in turn infects less than one other person. But overall, we still don't have the infection rate down as far as we need to. As in other countries, we have issues with the virus spreading in some hospitals and in care homes. Uh, and in some, the very clear advice we've received is that any change to our social, distance, uh, social distancing measures now would risk a significant increase in the spread of the virus. That would threaten a second peak of the virus and substantially increase the number of deaths. It would undo the progress that we've made to date and as a result would require an even longer period of the more restrictive social distancing measures. So early relaxation would do more damage to the economy over the longer period, over a longer period. And I want to be really clear about this. The advice from SAGE is that relaxing any of the measures currently in place would risk damage to both public health and our economy. Patrick and Chris will be able to go into further details on all of this shortly. But based on this advice, which we very carefully considered, the government has decided that the current measures must remain in place for at least the next three weeks.